This is Village King, and this is me moments before I tried having my first band interview of 2024. So as a radio host, sometimes you get the chance to meet artists and bands to talk about their music and anything else they have going on in their life. My original plan was just to talk about the EP they just dropped until I realized something. I didn't even know who Village King was. So for the next two days, I set out to do some research on them by looking them up on Google and streaming every song they've ever released. After being in radio for six years, I knew if I could draw on my love for discovering music and being a personality that can engage other people, then I might have a shot at capturing who the band truly is. And here's how all of that preparation turned out. Village King is made up of you, Notiverbs, and also Petity, which who unfortunately is not able to join us right now. But hey, maybe he'll pop in here in just a little bit, right? That's the hope, man. That's the hope. We are, we were on different sides of town today, so uh, I know he's trying to get it together to pop in too. Dude, that's awesome. Where it like where is home for you guys right now? Yeah, so we both based right here in Nashville, Tennessee, aka Music City, and uh, yeah, man, that's the stomping ground. Dude, I'm loving the background that you got going on there. Like, is that some like, 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 like mood lighting? Like, what do you got there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's all smoke and mirrors. You know, you got the little oh, beam light, you know, the lightsabers. Okay. Dude, I need to get me one of those for my apartment. Maybe it won't be so dark in there all the time. But, dude, I tell you what, there is so much to dive into, so much to digest, so much to talk about. And so, honestly, I am just curious to know, because see, here's the thing. Village King is not, I want to say it's a new group, but you guys aren't, this isn't the first time that you guys have made music together. In fact, y'all's discography goes back probably like two decades or so. So what made you and Petty decide to make a group together instead of continuing to build up your own solo careers? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, like you said, we've been recording music pretty much since mid nineties. Um, and we've already we've always been around each other. Our common connection for us were the, was the brothers from Grits, um, uh, Petty D, who was originally from Jacksonville, the same city that uh, Bonafide from Grits is from. So they knew each other. Petty D moved up here, and so we were always kind of in the same circle. Uh, there were sometimes throughout the years where we were able to collaborate uh, on music or in music. And then around 2007, myself, I just went on hiatus. I was about to get married, starting a new family. So I just needed to figure out just life and how to sustain that in that new season. Uh, Petty, he continued to roll, making music, um, producing for other groups, as well as working on TV sync and, and licensing music for films and that sort of thing. So um, and then it just, you know, pretty much the top of last year, well, I say 2022, we just connected to kind of just check in on each other, see see how everything was going. This is obviously post COVID and all of that. And that conversation turned into us just hopping in the studio, kind of running beats and eventually just say, hey, let's let's see what can come about if we started writing together. And uh, and eventually just, that just kind of formed into what you have now, which is the, the rap duo of Village King. Dude, that's incredible. So this is something that you guys have been wanting to do for a few years now, and you guys have been able to officially make this happen. So for some of our listeners, if you've already noticed, Village King is spelled a little bit differently than most would have it. So you guys spell King, K-N-G, instead of K-I-N-G. What happened to the I in King? Like, is it a typo? Is there a special meaning behind it? Like, tell us more about yeah. that. Man, I wish it was a super deep explanation to that other than artists just trying to be fancy with, you know, how they how they uh, write their name. But ultimately, the name Village King really connotates that, you know, us as in the roles that we play as far as husbands and fathers and all of that, that we are our kind of kings of our own village, kings of our own domain, the things that the Lord has kind of placed in our hands to help make grow and, and serve in different areas. But obviously, at the end of it all, we're under kings of the king of kings. And so in that sense, there is no I in king. There's no I in king and there's no I in team because I've got some good news for you. Believe it or not, Petty is here with us right now. Let's go. Dude, I know, right? He's here, baby. We <laughs> got, we got it all sorted out. How you doing, my man? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good. I uh, had some technical uh, difficulties, but we are here. 
uh, one half of Village King in the building, man. Thank y'all for the love, man. Thank you. We we got the other half here, and now we combine the two halves to make a whole. So, Petty, I'm going to come to you for this next one because I'm actually really curious. You guys like to, in your music, blend a lot of gritty lyricism and also soulful beats together. And so I know I've been seeing some stuff online that you guys are getting ready to release Side B of your EP because side A came out last year. How does side B differ from the side A that you guys have previously come out with? I think side B was more so of an introduction to let people know, hey, um, you know, you've heard Petty D solo, you've heard Verb solo, but together we created a sound that's different for both of us, but at the same time, a sound that's hip and new, but also authentically hip hop. And so side side A was more so of an introduction. Um, we had um, a, a Grammy Award winning producer, Tone Jones, um, produced the full EP, shout out Tone Jones, um, to give us that sound that's not a Petty D sound, it's not a No Diverse sound, but it, it uh, allowed us to focus and forge on our lyrics. Side B is going gonna, is gonna to be, again, a blending of that, but it's like, okay, now y'all familiar with the sound. Now we finna bring that heat. Now we finna take it to a whole nother level. Now, uh, Verbs and myself, we have found our niche together, uh, blending uh, our hip hop. And, and we make sure that uh, when we're writing this stuff, we're in the same room. Um, we just brought, brought that energy that is authentically hip hop and authentically Christian and authentically uh, music back to it you know verbs made it um made it was very adamant about our writing process and us being in the same room um we've made uh man we've and we got so good at doing stuff in the same room one of the songs we actually um you know we're both fathers and husbands and you know we have our daddy do list and the things we have to do as fathers but we work in the windows and so one day we actually met at lowe's and sat in the car. He had some errands to run. And I was like, yo, because we we're we're feeling that vibe again. So we we're literally finding every window and every opportunity to to make music together. And so this the second second side is now we found that vibe that we're in and that groove that we're in, and now we just finna start cranking stuff out, man. So side B is gonna be not only a continuation of what you hear in side A, but it's gonna actually step up a notch. Wow, that's incredible. It's so cool to hear that you guys are both like really all in together on this. And like you brought up with just literally going to the store, you guys yeah. are literally doing life together while also yeah. making yeah. music. And so like this side yeah. A is, it sounds to me like it's an appetizer because side yeah. B is the B. main course oh, yeah. that's to come, oh, baby. Yeah. Come on, let's oh, talk yeah. about it. Dude, that's that's yeah. really, really awesome. So here's the thing. When it comes to artists and when it comes to getting prepared for shows, there's what most listeners know of as the green room, which is the place where everyone gets prepared before they go on stage. I'm curious because... A lot of us don't know what goes on in the said green room. So what is probably the craziest green room experience that you guys have had? That's a good one. Actually, I yeah. think I think the green room is probably it's like a mythical creature, almost like the backstage area. Everybody wants to go backstage. <laughs> really, in the green room, you got snacks, water bottles and you know, the crew taking naps for the most part in the green room because everybody wants to be out. A lot of folks want to be out, uh, you know, where the people are and kind of mingling. Or if you're in a new city or a different city than where you live, you know, you want to experience the city a little bit. So, yeah, other than green M&Ms and, uh, you know, water bottles in the green room, that's 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 about it. I don't have a story. I don't, I don't know, Petty, if you have one. No, I think um, for me, I'm, by the time I hit the green room, I'm – it's like game time and go time for me, you know. Everybody's back there eating, and and it's just like okay, because I don't eat before we, uh, I hit the stage. I don't want to give the be on the stage and give the food back to the world, so I wait to eat. Um, I'm uh, rehearsing in my mind. I'm exercising. I'm getting my mind right um, before, as far as the green room. But I think for me, it, it, it's weird. Like over twenty something years, I haven't really had. Um, any crazy green room experiences because of um, kind of how we kind of how we roll 
Uh, maybe some crazy uh, green room conversations. But other than that, man, you know, when by the time I hit the green room, it's like football for me. I'm, you know, I'm ready to get hit the stage. I'm ready to go out uh, and uh, and give it my all. So, yeah. Dude, that's really, really good. Okay, so y'all, the, basically the green room for you guys is a place where you stay locked in and ready yes, to go. Yes, hey, yes. next time, now that, room, I hear, yeah. Yeah, now that I yeah, get that there are snacks back in the break room, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to go back in the green room you to gotta go, go grab you gotta, some of these. Now there listen, this is the crazy part. This is true, and I know Verbs can contest to this. Our families and everybody around you enjoys the green room more than we enjoy the green room because <laughs> they get to have all the different conversations. They get to eat the food. They get to meet cool people. They get to take pictures. They get to do all the fun stuff that we, because we're locked in. Now, we get to do that after, you know, but by that time, man, everybody. So you would definitely enjoy the green room. So. Yeah, in, in, anytime Wait. you can get back there, go ahead and get back there, bro. So, so one then one just popped into my mind when he said our families. So at one point, um, uh, I had a friend who was on tour with um, with uh, the guys from One One Six. So I brought my kids to one of the rehearsals, and Andy Minio, so my youngest son who might have been seven or eight at the time, just hovering around the snack table. <gasps> so I had already told my son, I was like, hey. You know, look, this is not our stuff. So just, you know, have a have a, a a bottle of water. So Andy comes over and he just like he just loads him up with candy, snacks, and chips. And then he gives him his new nickname, which we still call him today, which is Snacks McGee. So <laughs> <laughs> Snacks McGee, all from my family being real excited about those those snacks in the green room area. But does yeah, he enjoy yeah. being named Snacks McGee? Oh. That's the real thing. <laughs> Yeah, we only we only call him that after we know he's had a mound of snacks that is stuffed into his pocket. So, <laughs> okay, so only when he gets caught is what I'm hearing. Exact, exact. Dude, okay, so now at this point, I basically just need to be friends and family with the people there that you are go. performing. That's the real in that I need to have here. Well, yeah, guys, absolutely, guys, this has been incredible. Thank you so much for just taking some time out of your day and just maneuvering all of the technical difficulties it takes to even get yeah. on here and have an interview with us. Guys, this has been super, super good. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, guys, you enjoy the rest. We'll be looking forward to side B of Village King. Thank you, Nene. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to check out the other content on our channel and make sure you subscribe to find out what we're doing next.